yeah, not shaving and watching too much Netflix. That's the entire day in the life. I really need to get back to the city or travel somewhere soon. Just taking a quick walk because I'm bored. I actually put on clothes like shoes and socks and everything, man. The baby velociraptors are out in force. Hopefully they won't get me. They hunt in packs, you know. Uh, I just did a couple miles real quick. Not far. Went up, actually walked down the highway. Ooh. Um, saw the beach. Forgot I lived on an island. Actually saw the ocean. That was cool. So, man. It's getting real bad now. They're running about, um, I had a mask on when I was out there, but only about 25% of the people have it. And that's only the adults. None of the kids have masks ever. So they are getting sloppy. Anyway, fun, fun. Back to the house. That was my, I don't know, 30, 40 minute. What time is it anyway? 40 minute walk. Back to my house arrest. Okay, we went uh, to that store right there. One of the only stores open in the area. And we got ice cream. Now we have to hurry home before it melts. We're out shopping. She's not wearing a mask. I don't know why. Why aren't you wearing your mask? I don't know, man. It's only here. Yeah, we're right here in the neighborhood. We don't usually wear it. I put it on to go inside the store and just hadn't taken it off yet. Anyway, yeah, we don't wear it out here. Right here in the neighborhood. We were probably supposed to. But we don't. Say bye-bye. We're going to go eat ice cream. Bad news. They came around yesterday. Two, day before? Yeah. Day before yesterday. Who knows, man. Um, yeah. Two days ago, the barangay captain came around with a megaphone saying that only the person with the barangay pass, the quarantine pass, is allowed out of the house. Everyone else has to stay inside. Now, technically, you may say, hey, you are not inside. And you would be kind of correct. But this is my front yard. Not exactly, but you know, my house is back there somewhere. So as long as I don't hit that cement out there, I'm in my yard. But that's as far as I can go. Oh man, oh man. Let's turn this thing around and see what the rest of the yard looks like. Yeah, that's my view. We got them. They are maintaining social distancing because that is one family. They all live together anyway. And everyone around here is pretty much cousins. So we all kind of different people own different pieces of this. We treat the whole thing as our yard kind of basically. At least in the dry season, in the rainy season, all this is rice. Many months later. There, I put on a mask. Is that better? Now I'm safer. So I'm trying a couple new masks. We'll see if they help me avoid the plague. We got some gardening going on, some hanging out. Same thing as every day. Nothing really changes. It's been six weeks now. Oh boy. It's not just farming. There's also cockfights. This kid's walking around with his rooster looking for someone to fight with. It's not going well, but he's having fun. And I think goats have gone crazy. They have to be at the end of the rope, eating the farthest piece of grass, or they're not happy. Well, a little bit of trouble here in paradise. I went out, I guess three days ago now, and did that walk about uh, a couple miles, went up to the highway, looked at the beach, it was kind of neat. 
had my mask on, stayed away from people. The next day, my wife and I went for ice cream just up the road to the, you know, closest sorry sorry store that actually has ice cream. Then, that very night, the barangay captain came around with a megaphone announcing that only the one person with the quarantine pass is allowed out of the house. Since I do not have the quarantine pass, I am not allowed outside. Now, that doesn't make any sense. They just started mass testing in Iloilo. There has been one new case. So that brings our grand total in the city to six. Out in the town we live in, we still have zero. So they're tightening down even more. Um, they're going to have to be careful with that because people are getting fidgety. Um, I just stay here. It's not a big deal. But uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. There's, they're on top of it. It's going well. The lockdown is working. And so they're tightening down more. Now, as I said, a lot of people weren't wearing masks. But that's just lack of enforcement. You don't have to crack down tighter on the rules because of that. But they did. So, I still walk around out here in the field behind the house, that rice field. Because as far as I'm concerned, that's my front yard. Technically, it's not. But fuck it. You know, what are we going to do? So, um, yeah. They've gone crazy, actually. They've tightened down a lot more. Um... At this point, it seems unnecessary to tighten down that much more. But, hey, they're going to do what they're going to do. So we're still just hanging out. Can't go far. Can't do much. They picked some mangoes. The mangoes are starting to come in. They got like 80 kilos the first day. They're going to wait, looks like another week or two, some more will be ready. So they'll be picking more. The trees are very heavy this year. How much is each one? They look pretty large. I don't know, maybe this four? one. So it's like what, four a, ki four a kilo? Or three a kilo? Three, some, three. Wow. It's expensive, it's bigger. Wow. But no worries, I think, no, yeah. Oh my, it's like a kilo here. Three. Three is a good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Wow. We let the mangoes, we kept some of them back for us. And it sat on the counter for about three days. And now they've turned yellow and are really soft, really juicy very good so i do like the fresh mangoes when they're in season and the ones that grow here are really good they're better than any i've had anywhere else in texas we always got mexican mangoes and they were kind of kind of bland kind of not dry but just yeah not not as juicy not as sweet so the mangoes here are really good the house arrest is going well. The jail food is pretty good. I can't complain about that. So that's a good thing. And of course, more Netflix. We do have a new baby spider moving in. He will grow much more before he's done. Now that I have to stay just within this field, I'm lucky to get a thousand steps a day. I used to get at least 10,000. So, bummer. I have not put on weight yet but it's only been six weeks give me more time i might surprising I, th I should have put some on but because i'm sitting around doing nothing i'm also not eating as much which is counterintuitive but such is life there's obviously no travel during this time so we're running out of things to video i'm going through doing a lot of file management on my backup so I did find that uh, Garen Farms 
video that somehow never got finished so I finished it and put it up that's two three years old yeah three years old now don't know what happened it got backed up but it never got finished it's surprisingly easy for me just to sit here and do nothing it kind of reminds me of in the Navy when you're on the ship underway there is nowhere to go so it just doesn't bother you you know if I could get on the Jeep and go to the city I would but since I can't there's no worries it's not that big a deal so yesterday we had four brownouts that was no fun but luckily they were well three of them were short one was kind of long but tomorrow is a scheduled brownout from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. that is usually go to the mall kind of day but I can't go to the mall I'm gonna have no fan you know it's bad enough there's no computer no internet but no fan from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. it's gonna be a rough day I'm going to sit in my chair I got a little bamboo rocking chair I'm going to just sit out here on the porch and cry all day can't go to the beach because I can't leave the house so yeah this brown out tomorrow is gonna suck I'm not sure what they're doing I didn't know they were still even doing any work I guess usually they turn it off for like tree cutting and stuff which I can't imagine they're doing that right now so I don't know what they're doing but uh, bummer tomorrow is gonna suck fun fun so stay inside Keep your mask on, stay safe. And of course, more Netflix. Bye bye. Yeah, whatever. Enjoy your day in paradise. <laughs>